What's up everybody, Rob Ferretti here and a quick house update. Why have I not been keeping up with house updates? Simply because there hasn't been really much that's updatable online. Uh, there hasn't been a lot of progress. We haven't started knocking the old house down. We haven't started building the new house. And that's really what you're looking for with an update. Uh, the update is it's a harder process than I was expecting it to be and significantly more costly. Now, I went into this process thinking that I know it's a historical town. I, I know I had to get variances uh, because technically my one acre lot is, is not very large um, and it's an oddly shaped lot. It's a rectangle. So putting a house on it would violate certain variances. So I had to get it's already non-conforming, but I had to get additional variances to, to do the construction that I wanted to do. I was expecting twenty to twenty five thousand um, dollars. It is my, all right, that makes sense with a, region, a reasonable margin of error. That's how much I'm going to spend. And it looks like it's going to be doubled. Now, because the process has been so difficult, it's, I've got, an, I've got a lawyer now that I've just hired. I've got a, uh, a site planner. Um, I've got a um, landscape architect. And on top of that, there's revisions going back and forth. Now, let me show you the house real quick. Um, and then we'll get into the revisions. The, uh, the initial thing I'm going to show you here is the house that's currently there and then what I'm going to be putting in its place. All right. So this is the current house here. This little add-on, this covered porch, it does have a, a covered porch now, but this is going to be an additional porch. See, this is the this is the current porch. My porch is going to be a little shorter uh, with that little overhang. And then this is going to be additional as well. And then this is the uh, garage as it sits. And then this will be the new garage. So uh, seepage pits, this is the, the drainage water that comes off the house, septic field, but everything else. Um, not crazy, but I'll show you the, the look of it and we'll go from there. So it's not crazy, but this is one of the things that require variances. So the size of the house requires a variance because technically the lot coverage is, is exceeded with this house. All right, and this is what the house is going to look like. Uh, that's the front. This is the back. This is the uh, one side of the house. If you're looking at the house from the front, this would be the right side. And this would be the left side that you'll be seeing when you drive up the driveway. Now, here's the garage. Uh, the garage is a little bit of a sticking point due to its size. This is the front of the garage and then the back of the garage. Uh, this is the side of the garage that's facing the house. And then this is the side of the garage that is facing away from the house. But we're going to be getting rid of the store in these windows maybe, or at least raising the windows uh, because this is going to have dirt next to it versus uh, what we initially had planned. But these are the V1 plans for all of this. So effectively, the problem I'm running into here isn't really the drawings. It's not necessarily the size of the variances that I'm going through. It's the problem I'm running into is that everything is taking a long time because there's a lot of back and forth. So my guy is submitted to the town. The town has its engineer. The town has its architect and the town has its lawyer review, respectively, the engineer's drawings that I submit, the architectural drawings that I submit, and then the application for completeness. And every time they have to review my stuff, I'm paying them. Every time my guys have to do a revision because it was wrong, I'm paying them. Every time we have a meeting where these guys are sitting here and my guys are sitting there, I'm paying everybody. And that's where it's getting expensive. That's why I'm not really doing frequent updates, so I just don't cause a stir here. Once I get the plans submitted, then stuff is really going to start picking up steam. Then you're going to see that the house is coming down, this is going up, the holes are getting dug, and that's what you guys really want to see. But there's your quick update. My initial estimate of like 25000 before uh, breaking ground is going to be way off. I was maybe factoring and it may have been thirty. Looks like it's going to be closer to $50,000 uh, because I'm paying more professionals than, that we, than I was expecting to pay and just the back and forth. 
I'm not even considering the amount of time that I'm paying for multiple houses because I'm not living there. That all adds up and ultimately sucks. It's a, it's a crappy part of it. I wasn't expecting to spend fifty to sixty thousand dollars before I even broke ground on my house just to come up with architectural drawings and blueprints. But it looks like that's going to be the case. Thank you for watching. You want to see more house updates? I promise they'll be coming and there'll be more exciting ones than this. But thank you guys for watching. My uh, my. 50 grand for a couple sheets of paper sucks. And just to, to these things, like these architectural drawings, when I submit them, I need 18 copies. It's $400 for 18 copies of that. So every time I revise something and resubmit it, 400 bucks just to print it. And then I have to pay the other guy to review it. And then it just, it's a never ending cycle. Sort of stinks, but uh, it is what it is. So it's gonna be fun when it's done. Thanks for watching. Catch you next time.